The humanitarian crisis at the southern border of the United States has spilled into the emotionally charged streets of America. I'm here to have them sent back home. I just don't understand how people can be so full of hate for anybody else, and especially these are kids who are going through terrible traumas. Obviously, we got to do something with them, you know, whether they're sent back or whatever, but Congress needs to get off their butts and do their job. America's immigration policies are now so controversial that people feel they must take to the street to get their point across, says Roy Beck with Numbers USA. Our government is allowing the mob to rule our borders. And I think what we're starting to see in cities around America is something that starts to feel like mob reaction on both sides of this issue. By some estimates, the U.S. will see as many as 80,000 unaccompanied children turn up at the border before the year's end. No papers, no fear. Our kids are staying here. Now the protests have so far been relatively peaceful, but some people worry the longer Congress drags its feet, the more likely we are to see them take a violent turn. There's no reason for American citizens to have to stand in streets to protect their communities. There has to be some laws so they can get help and be someplace, but this is not the place for them. The next big question in this battle is whether Congress will agree to give the president almost $4 billion he requested this week to deal with the crisis. That heated debate is not on the streets of America, but stuck in the halls of Congress. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.